Hello, hello everybody, it's your boy Prof Chaff and we're back again with another Brandon Herrera video. So this came out two days ago. AK-50 update May 2021. <laughs> Let's go. I wanna see it. Why fucking? <laughs> Yo, why is it so big? I mean, listen, I... Okay, listen, when I... I when he, he said he's making a 50 cal AK, I did not expect it to be small. But goddamn, brother! It's like an obese AK. It's like you stuck five extremely obese AKs together. She, he still kept the wooden thing? <laughs> what is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? <laughs> We got a lot to talk about. Ooh, damn! Look this at on the wall behind. This is a crank off for a giant. No, this is the newest iteration of the AK-50, an AK. In look at that mag. Fifty BMG. That's real. Full auto. I'm touching it. For those of you who Can are I new to the it? channel, the AK-50 has kind of been a passion project of mine for almost since I started the YouTube channel. We first announced we were doing the project in 2016, and then we ended up getting our first firing prototype in late 2017. Three, so it fires. Two. Wait. One. That firing prototype that we called the V1 is the also the, the prototype that we got cycling for the first time. Not just a static fire, we actually got the proper gas settings and everything to be able to make that sucker extract and eject. Imagine this being added to Tarkov when they finish it. That would be amazing. I would love that. It took about a year to dial all that in. Like I said, we weren't working on it full time, but Makes you know, sense. this stuff does take a little bit of time even after we sat down and committed some time to it. Learned a lot from V1, so I wanted to make a lot of changes. V1, and frankly, me constantly making changes is kind of why it's taken this long to get another firing prototype. It's just when I think I'm happy with something, I get it in my hand and I just, I have a better vision for it. Or we just realize it's not gonna fuck. A lot of girlfriends have said that. Fucking work. One of the biggest changes I decided to do is I wanted to see if we could do it stamped, which is why we've got what looks like stamped. Frankenstein's monster here. You see, the V1 was on a milled receiver, which was, that receiver cost me about $6,000 to make. Oh. Super heavy, super thick, super oh. just, oh, expensive. About yay so long much with cash. solid billet 4140 steel that had to be painstakingly moved away. Prototype and stuff is not cheap. So for ease of manufacture and reducing cost, I really thought we could do an AKM style stamp receiver. Now, we had a, a couple of designs for it, but before we went whole hog into stamping dies and doing expensive, you know, stamping prototypes and okay. things like that, we just wanted to see if it was fucking possible, <laughs> which is why we're using a basically an off-the-shelf steel tube. <laughs> yeah. We actually redesigned our front trunnion, rear trunnion, and buffer system, and bolt, carrier, bolt, everything, to kind of fit the parameters of using... Okay, let's be honest. This looks like if it shot, it would fall apart. That's how it looks like. An off-the-shelf piece of rectangular tubing, or square tubing, rather. So some of the dimensions are a little funky, um, but it should work. Hopefully. Ish. Realistically, the point of this is to see if the receiver, the stamped receiver, is going to bow, to flex, are the rivets going to work, do we have enough rivets, are the rivets strong enough, is there too much front end leverage, is the front trunnion going to fall out? These are things I don't really know. But I have a feeling we're going to find out. Okay. What we're also going to find out is can we actually switch back to the single spring system? And is that going to stand up to 50 BMG recoil? Oh, the recoil spring system. That noise we've got door. Our, our recoil buffer in the back, just in case it gets a little bit too much love. But we've got our recoil spring here, which is kind of taking a little bit of inspiration from the Saiga 12 style spring, where we've got our normal recoil spring here in the back. Uh, it's like a telescoping tube, telescoping tube, uh, kind of like you know a milled AK would have or an RPK would have, and then on the front end. We Another just have one? an assistant spring that fits on. Like one of the problems that we had on V1 is realizing that this actually has to do, uh, the spring has to do more than 50% compression, which is the max for an AK spring because it can only compress in the space of itself because it's two halves. The other one, we just clipped a 1911 spring onto the end, which actually fits an AK recoil spring perfectly, perfectly. like it actually clips on. This one, we have something a little bit more permanent. Uh, this is just kind of like the Saiga 12 does it. 
where you have a little tube there that fits on the spring and the loose spring is captured by the bolt carrier itself. And then the recoil spring just fits back neatly in there. And then we've got a much stronger buffer there in the rear, just in case you have a round with a little bit more ass to it. One of the other things that we did for testing is uh, the boys actually welded on mounts to put this onto a Bren tripod. Uh. In lieu of recent events, we thought it was better to take safety was kind of seriously this time around yes. uh, when dealing with 50 BMG. Yes, please don't Especially blow yourself up. on a prototype we're not sure is going to work. Obviously, this is going to be a shoulder-fired rifle when it's finished, but for the time being, uh, a tripod and a... Whose shoulder? The Hulk? Come on, bro. ...string is probably the way we're going to be testing this, especially since we got a lot of concerns with this one. Um, yeah. By the way, I like how you can sh you can kind of see the shovel K. <laughs> the shovel AK up here. <laughs> Let me count the ways. The ways that this is So our front trunnion looks super beefy. I've showed it off in prior videos. Damn. Um, it's now heat treated and everything, but uh, which is why it's got that darker color. But it didn't provide as much support as we might were hoping. In order to thread the barrel in and cut the threads into this, we actually had to take away quite a lot of the uh. material from the chamber itself, which is only supported by the front trunnion, which is also very skinny. Not terribly worried about the lugs on that because the lugs are similar dimension to that of the V1, which were fantastic. More so worried about the chamber and the front trunnion itself just grenading. Part of that is due to having to cut some of this away on the sides to fit the stamp sheet metal over the sides. We also had to cut away a little bit to uh, have clearance in the back for the rivets that we did on here. Like I've said oh. in the past, we've got two long rivets here that go all the way through and smash kind of like a long rivet on a uh, rear trunnion of an AK. And we got the two short rivets up here. They're not the prettiest rivets in the world. We were kind of surprised that our tooling could actually handle the size rivets that we used, but they're solid, I think. And we also have the press fit barrel pin, just like the AK, which I think is pretty neat. The other thing nice. we're not sure about is that because this tube is mild steel, uh, these receiver rails could what just warp, this whole mean? thing could just split wide open, and the bulk here could go free willy out the back or through the top, which is another reason why tripod. Metal could also stretch around where the rivets are, uh, you know, because we've dimpled all of these, we've dimpled them in and then riveted on top, so the metal could just stretch and just, you know, pry itself free. Also worried about Jesus. the rear trunnion here, because this is going to be soaking up a lot of force. This is like a five pound bulk carrier group, so uh, you're going to be stopping a lot here, little buddy. But we've reinforced it adequately with these long rivets here that, again, are also dimpled. And I'm hoping this buffer is going to make that a little bit easier on it. Taking this carrier out, take that out. Got a super long piston here. Since this is long stroke, <laughs> to fit into the gas block, you kind of need that distance, ladies. And if you've seen the bolt face here, we also have the cutaway for that shark fin style ejector. I don't know how well you can see that. So right there, you probably can see it a little bit better. We've got our shark fin I don't even know what I'm looking right for, there so. that is basically just going to serve to kick out that brass. But we've all got our kind of our concerns about that because uh, we're worried about it impacting the rear rim of the brass and just completely chewing that brass to shit. Because a lot of people like to reload their 50 BMG because let's face it, it's fucking expensive. But there's one way to find out. Oh, and you also can see here that this is a standard AK fire control group. Now, on all the uh, beta tests that we did with blanks and primers and things like that, AK fire control groups actually held up pretty well as far as being able to punch 50 BMG primers every time with our firing pin setup that we have. Magazine, of course, standard 10 round Barrett magazine. And for the first time in AK 50 history, we actually have a working Jesus. mag catch. Look how big that That's fucking pretty. thing is. We figured out roughly where our feed angle is. So uh, we felt comfortable finally putting one of these batteries God in there. Because honestly, this thing just looks so much fucking better than the magazine. Uh, what kind of ammo are we going to be using? Well, we're going to be running primarily uh, 50... Hopefully no tracer, what was it, high heating rounds? BMG Hornaday AMAX ammunition. Uh, in my opinion, this is the most consistent stuff that we've been able to find. Uh, worked the best out of the V1, so why rock the boat? It's kind of hot. I think it's like 750 grains, which, holy shit. But it's new manufactured, it's good stuff. It's also like 10 bucks a round now. And uh, we we bought we, we bought a lot of it. Which is why I'd like to quickly thank No Name Ammo for helping us out 
and uh, no name some ammo. Of the ammo for us. We appreciate that. If you'd like to go check them out, I've got the link in the description and in the pinned comment. Big supporter of the channel right now, and they're the reason why we can afford to do 50 testing at the moment. Ammo prices are already ridiculous, so 50 BMG, kind of pricey. So yeah, she's together. By the way, a quick uh, FYI, when I was looking at, when we, me and my friend were looking at the shooting ranges we're planning on going to soon, not, uh, not one of them had anything that's like 50 cal in any of those shooting ranges and I'm not surprised even if they did I would not want to shoot this thing real question is going to be does she stay together will she fire will it explode will it <laughs> cycle those are the questions we have to answer we have honestly changed right. a lot about this gun so drawing conclusions from V1 really isn't an option here just because so much of this has changed since then there's a lot of shit that's brand new that we're testing on this. A lot of shit we've never tested before. So really, Jeez. it's kind of anybody's game. And there's a lot that's really sketchy. Uh, and frankly, just one-off prototype Frankenstein solutions on this bad boy. So if you have any predictions, please let me know in the comments. So what are we hoping... Wait, he's not going to shoot it this? now. Because this is definitely not a pre-production prototype. Okay, he's not shooting it in this video. I thought he was going to shoot it at the end of this video. Okay, okay, okay. By okay. any means. Yeah, I think it's going to hold. We're just trying to figure out, even though the dimensions are way skinnier on certain things than they should be, that's almost more helpful because if it does detonate, we know that we really do need to beef that part up. We want to learn if the stamp receiver is something that will even work. Will the rivets hold up? Is the barrel profile too skinny? Is there too much leverage on the front end? Will the AK fire control group, standard AK fire control group, be able to handle the recoiling mass of this bolt carrier and the velocity, whatever that ends up being? Will the single spring work? Will it be able to cycle? And if it does cycle, will it be able to feed for the magazine? See, we've got an old AK-50 prototype V1 to cycle, but we were never able to get it to cycle before it died, um, or at least started having seizing se se issues. Before it died, wait a second. Uh, we were never able to get it to cycle a round, eject one, Bruh. and then load another from a magazine. That's a huge hurdle that we're going to try to get over. Will uh. the lugs detonate? What do we need to gas with our current bolt carrier ratio? To gas? With the spray? There's a lot of shit at play. Will I need to plug my neck? We don't really know. But that's the Hopefully kind of data we're hoping to get. And that's Hopefully why we not. This prototype. God this damn it. Much, much cheaper than the other prototype we did, and much cheaper than trying to go all out right off the bat. So if we can learn a lot from this, then next time around we can go into a much better looking prototype that's better thought out. We can start looking at things like uh, optic mounting, uh, how our aesthetics are going to look. As long as we can figure out that the bones of the gun work, then we can start moving on to the cool shit, and I feel comfortable spending a little bit more money on it. So this gun, as you see it here, pretty much ready to test fire and uh to be honest with you that's it's kind of why i'm here Trust oh me, i wasn't leaving texas unless it what? was for something special what? Is it not? so by the time this video comes out i will probably have already known what happened to this prototype okay i think me and the team know what we're doing or are we way out of our depth on this one and honestly by the way i don't know what i'm doing so i can't really answer about other people this thing looks currently but what do you guys think I really won't blame you no matter what you think but i will cut you a deal uh so we did the ak-50 light the 50 beowulf video we said if that uh curse gun images video got over 50,000 likes i'd do the 50 light video if this video gets over a hundred thousand likes <laughs> i'll show you what happens to this prototype even if it goes terribly depending on how terribly it goes we might have to put it on live leak and not on YouTube. Yo, come on, I'm stop. Hey, stop making those jokes, bro. Come on. It's not gonna go bad. You'll be okay. Hopefully. Come hey, on. I know a good bit of you are super No excited. plugging. No thumb plugging. I guess that's all there is to say. It's... Enough exploding weapons. Let's see what happens. But I did just want to give you guys this quick AK-50 update. I know you've been asking for one and we've been teasing at this a lot. So I wanted to go ahead and give you this much before this thing possibly... <clears throat> does the thing stop anyhow guys i greatly appreciate you God watching damn the video. wish me luck and as always i'll probably see you sexy youtube mother lovers in the next video Brandon! thanks there there is a limit to how many times you can jinx yourself okay guys what y'all think i think so from what i've gotten from his i don't understand shit about guns okay that's a fact 
But from what I've gotten from his exploration, uh, from his explanation, it seems like the biggest problem is not going to be if he can shoot once or twice. Uh, biggest problem would be like after like 10, 15, 20 shots, if it's just going to hold or if the pieces are going to combust on themselves. So I'm curious. I'm curious to see. Hopefully it's all good. Hopefully it's all good. It seems like they've put quite a lot of work into this. So I hope it turns out great for them, to be honest. Plus, it would be pretty cool to see a full... I'm, I, I, I doubt they're gonna have full auto on this, right? <laughs> but that would be fucking insane. Uh, AK, 50 cal AK going full auto. <laughs> Africa has already posted 100 offers to buy. Anyway, uh, quick thank you for watching. Thank you to the YouTube members and Patreons. Like, comment, subscribe. Now, catch you all next time. Oh, if you want to see more gun-related videos by your boy, uh, playlist up here. And bye-bye, everybody. Have a nice day.